everybody this arrived yesterday and um it was like half a year away this is the he-man uh time edition that was released by mondo um it was a long wait but finally it's here um problem is you know had to pay duties and uh not duty free but anyway i believe it's worth it aside from the fact that i've heard a few complaints about it there's been uh some are not satisfied by the figure there were issues but we'll do our own review so comes in the plastic comes with a shipper box with uh corners uh corner protectors not the plastic ones mm. Let's see. Sealed in the plastic. Let's open it up. Mm -hmm. Oops. It says at the back, by the power of Grayskull, Eternia was in need of a champion. And just a quick overview about who he man is. This is, look at the front cover, the art. This is a, almost like a complete armor set with the he-man armor and the regular armor and uh it comes with i think three heads anyway we'll open it later um can't wait for battle cut though battle cut will probably be maybe this big uh or probably this tall because it's also one six scale anyway uh so box art as you can see um magnet is um, showing here a bit anyway let's open it up there it's a window what does it say here oh uh, another no, a picture of he-man so let's open it up and see what the fuzz is all about okay so let's start with this one first this is he-man one six scale it comes with three heads this one is the same as the other one but with more expression on the face angry looking he-man so here's a closer um i need better lighting though anyway so hopefully you can see this one so that's he-man And this one is the classic He-Man face, you know, based on the old toy. Here is more yellow than this other one. Still blonde, but compared to this one, this is brownish and this is really yellow so there two heads three heads um so that's the first one we'll do and this one is like the loincloth is made up of like a bunch of threads or something and yeah he has uh an underwear there so this one is also um, like a bunch of threads on it so this is way better than the old one Com yeah uh, we'll compare it later the other he-man that um, Mondo took creative process um, so compared to that one the, the old one was leather for the loincloth um, so there's He-Man, he has two uh, bracelets, different ones for each hand, for each arm, I mean. So at the back, this one is just, yeah, it's not really detachable. It's not like a real buckle. It's just plastic painted with some wear on the paint. The uh, elbow joint is kind of restricted mostly because of the biceps 
wrist joint fairly good so the shoulder joint there's also a joint for the bicep area and the shoulder area as you can see that um, it doesn't really bend forward and back the main complaint I heard about that people are saying is this when you twist the torso this comes apart because this is not long enough to hold the figure so I guess most of the time or mostly you just have to post this front facing that's the drawback of this figure um, so knee joint there's a joint here and the joint there you can flex it that way and flex it all the way as well but I don't wanna do that so there's also a joint here you can twist this thigh to the side the paint scheme is uh, good with um, not really the best but they darken the part where the um, muscles are to highlight the mass muscles so that's him if you want to change the head all you need to do is pull this one oh it's a very small uh, peg for the head I think I'll display him with this one though okay so that's him um, I'll take another video I'll end this video for now I'll take another video of the accessories that's he man with three heads uh, difference is the loincloth is leather like and this one it's almost the same material as this one difference is the color and this is um i think thicker um i think they probably use the same um boots for each figure just uh painted differently um what else they use the same armband let's see on uh, this one uh, diff different um, the bracelet for the other one though but for this one they use the same one just di painted differently um, what else uh, they made a different head sculpt for this figure though color is different this one is um, kind of pinkish and this is, is brownish yellow color but still both he man and that's my comparison for both figure. This one is taller than the other one though. Okay, we'll explore the accessories of this new He-Man. Don't mind the background noise. My son is playing here in the basement. Um, I just want to finish this video. So these are the accessories that it came with. So this is the battle axe. You can see some damage on it like a battle damage effect on it makes it look like a real metal sharp on the edge so that's the axe and it comes with this effect so you can put uh, one of his hand on this one like a power punch effect would be nice if there was a battery or a light up feature for this one. So you can put that on there. Comes with two power swords. Same length, same height. One is transparent. So when you know, he yells by the power of Grayskull, you can pretend that you know, his, uh, it will be a combination with this one though. It would be nice. So comes with two shields this is the first shield with the evil horde logo 
correct me if I'm wrong, but that just reminds me of the Evil Horde. This is like a um, thicker shield, modern looking or mechanical looking shield. I think that this is based on the uh, battle armor one. So it goes with this one. And the classic He-Man shield. The back is the same, almost the same though. You can put the forearm here and let him hold that. So this one is magnetic. You can see the magnets. It will be easily put on here. And the logo here is also magnetic. There. One is, you know, damage with a mark. I hope they would uh, release a Skeletor with all the accessories as well. And the other armor he has, or suit he has, is this one. So you can replace this with this. It's just a peg. That you push in i'll change that later with all the accessories um and also another um gauntlet or bracelet this is the same though different just different color to match with this one and i don't know what this is mm, i don't know where to put this on mm, anyway this is one of the accessories just reminds me of those uh, guns when we had as a kid in the 80s, the pups. I, I believe it goes with this one. I'll find out where this one goes though. So those are the accessories and the dagger here. Small dagger. And there's a stand here. Uh, the bottom has a design, the front doesn't have one, which would have been nice if the design is actually here on the front. So when you put this one, there would be an intricate design, but I don't know why they put the logo or the design on the bottom. It's like a letter M. Anyway, um, so I'll swap the armors and I'll... We'll go from there. Change He-Man's um, armor. This one, you can pull this out. It's just attached to this one. Um, and then you can pull the head out. Oops, sorry about that. And then you can easily remove that. And you can put this on, the red one. The red armor. As you can see, there's a cut on the torso but you can even bend him forward so that's totally useless so this one put that on him and then just push this into those holes difficult to put this one though you just have to push them that there we go and then push the head back in so that's one of his armor and then you can swap this bracelet with the red ones so technically it's going to be the same no one even want to do it and just change that swap that um aside from that this one still don't know where this goes mm, somewhere could be here could be maybe not anyway that's one of the accessories oops
There. It's hard to stand him though. That's the first armor. Now we'll go with the second one. So we'll just remove this. Pop this out. The other armor will be easier to remove or to put on. You don't even have to remove the head because it's magnetic. Just put that back in. I'll just display him with the classic, you know, He-Man armor, the silver one. It's kind of hard to stand him up. So this one, just pop that in. And like I said, it's magnetic, so it should stay in place. Let's see. Hopefully, it's a good fit. There. Just have to wiggle the hair and position it uh, the right way. So, like I said, this one has two logos or um, the insignias there. That's one, which is the damage one, battle damage. And then the other one is, hopefully I can find it. Sorry for the noise. Um, I'll find it in a bit. Uh, so that's one. We'll just put the battle damage one. There we go. It stays in place though. And then we'll put the shield on. Um, hmm. So we'll remove the hand there. We'll swap it with this other hand. But to do that, you first have to push this in. Or I think the better way is for, like with the old one, the, the main, I think this will be difficult to open up and make him grasp this first. So I think the best way is to let him grab this first with just the hand and then after that you push this in to that one okay i'll just pause the video and just do it after. i think the best way to do this is to do this first put the hand in and then push that into the forearm but it has to be facing up a little bit there we go and then once that is in, you can this can be removed. So you can just push that in and keep that in place. Mm -hmm. So there, that's his shield. Doesn't really stay in place though. So I just decided to remove that gauntlet or that bracelet just so that I can put this on better. It's hard to wiggle through this thing though. Mm -hmm. Let's keep that there. I guess you really have to make sure that when you display this, your it will really take some time. There, that's a shield. Okay, so let's put the, change the hand and put the power sword. As you can see from all this, uh, most of them are lints from the loin and the boots. So let's put the power sword on. It's messy though to display this thing. There, that's the power sword. Or you can even put the battle axe on him oops he doesn't really stay in place that good so that's he man um so we did this other armor i believe i'll just display him with this regular armor than this one um, so I think the last one would be to find out where to put this dagger. 
I believe it can go on this thigh. It's stretchy, so just wiggle through the boots and put it on the thigh, whichever thigh you want. And there's also this other hand, the pointy hand. Yeah, number one. And there's this other chest plate, chest piece. Oops. There. That's the undamaged one. So, I'll take more pictures. Um, hopefully you like the video. And like I said, this is the time display, uh, time edition, not the time display, time edition He-Man. Um, we'll wait for Battle Cat to arrive, maybe in a few months, they'll send the Battle Cat. For now, this is He-Man. We'll take more pictures. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Like, share, and subscribe if you like the video. There will be more videos to come of my collections. I just collect random stuff. So it will be a mix of Transformers, He-Man, mostly toys that or characters that I grew up from the grew up with during the 80s. Thanks for watching.